The narcissist is a master delusionist. I, I didn't say illusionist. I said delusionist, meaning they are as delusional as they come. See, at least an illusionist will try to make it seem like the elephant disappeared, like ah, some kind of flash or something. The narc will have the whole elephant standing right there with their trunk on your face Talking about what elephant? And you're like, um, the elephant right here that's sucking my cheek off. I don't see no elephant. And after this happens to you enough times, it has the desired effect. You start to feel like you're going crazy because that's the narcissist's goal. If you don't trust your thoughts, they can control you. See, because the narcissist is also, also going to tell you that you're crazy every chance that they get. And your friends and family, they mean, well, they're going to tell you stuff like, well, j just leave. If it, if it ain't working, just get out. <laughs> That's easier said than done for an empath. See, to walk out on someone you love and you thought was going to be your soulmate forever and ever Oh boy, that is to reject them. And you know painfully well how rejection feels. You've experienced your whole life. And you say, I can't bring myself to do that to someone I love. The narc is also the master at playing the victim. So, oh, they're going to make sure you feel horrible Every chance they get because you want to leave. Yeah, they're going to pour some salt in the room. So you have to learn to look at this totally differently. See, we've all heard the phrase that their rejection is God's protection, right? All right. Yeah, we get that. But when it comes to the narc, your rejection is your protection. See, when you reject their abuse, you are protecting you. When you accept their abuse, you're allowing them to hurt you. One is this and keeping them at bay. The other one is, oh, just smack me in the face. So repeat after me, class. So reject to protect. Yeah, say it again. Reject to protect. And this is how you turn the tables on the narc. See, scripture tells us don't cast your pearls before swine. Don't allow them to have access to something that you should be protecting. All right. See, when you go from accept to reject, oh, guess what they're going to do? They're going to panic because they no longer have you as a captive audience for their delusion. And a narc feels like nothing without their favorite, most reliable supply. And you have been that, but no more. Now, if you're saying to yourself, Doc, I got an elephant on my cheek right now, and I got one standing on my big toe, and the narc is steadily telling me, what elephant? I feel like I'm going crazy. I know you do. And that's what they want. So I tell you what you do. You go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, schedule your free 30 minute consultation because I'm going to tell you how coaching is going to help you reject to protect. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share. Take care. Peace.